Welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to one of my railway series today. For the first time on the channel, I'm in North Devon today. We're having a quick look, a first look. We will be back here again at the Linton and Barnstable Railway. You're probably thinking, well, this isn't Woodney Bay. No, it isn't. I near a place called Snapper on a road that runs parallel to the River Yeo. And behind me here is a bridge that once went over this fascinating and fantastic little narrow gauge railway that once ran between the towns of Linton and Barnstable in North Devon. It opened in the 1890s and closed as early as 1931, but there are plans to restore much of it between these two fantastic towns here in North Devon. Beautiful scenery crossing a lot of the fringes of Exmoor. So we're going to have a look at the next bridge, which is Chelfham here in North Devon. So behind me here is the magnificent Chelfham Viaduct, which is in superb condition. Chelfham Station, which is privately owned, has been superbly restored to its original, well, latter-day Southern Railway colours, because it originally was a private line that the Southern Railway later bought to keep the whole thing afloat. It does open on certain days to the general public, but because it is a private house, I can't get close to it to give you a shot of it, but if I can find a shot of it on the web, I'll include that about now. But yes, there are plans to open the whole of the line, including the section between Killington Lane, which is the current terminus of the Linton and Barnstable line, to this point here at Chelfham, which spans over the wonderful River Yeo and the Yeo Valley. Now I'm staying on the road that hugs the River Yeo, heading towards the little town or village, I'm not sure which, of Bratton Fleming. And I've just spotted this line of fence posts high up on the valley there. And that denotes the line of the railway that once ran between Linton and Barnstable. So we're about four or five miles out of the town of Barnstable now. But there's yet more to see. Now this bit here is really, really exciting. Not sure if I should be here or not. It's not clear that I haven't crossed any gates saying private, but this is the former track bed of the Linton and Barnstable line. This is the first time I've actually stood on the track bed because obviously at Woody Bay where they've got the steam trains running, you can't walk on the track there, of course, for safety reasons. So it's wonderful to be able to walk on this track bed here. I'm delighted to report that this section here looks like it's been completely cleared. So I'm not sure if it's the Linton and Barnstable Railway Trust that are clearing this now, ready to open the line down towards Chelfham. That is a really exciting thing to see. 
something else just behind the camera too. Now deep in the wood here with the old milk bottles and the orchids we're delighted to see you have this. There is a gap here and at one time of course there would have been a bridge going across this well, I'm not quite sure. I think it was an access point to a nearby quarry. The quarry is disused now, long taken out of use. So this will present a little challenge for the people wanting to restore the railway because this will need to be replaced with a bridge to getting the railway back down to the town of Barnstable. Now I've decided to follow the track bed just for a short distance because a little bit further in this direction. So what are we going? We're going in a easterly direction, northeasterly direction, I think. And the road that goes to Bratton Fem Fleming passed over the top of the Linton and Barnstable Railway. And you can see the abutments of the bridge I've already driven over. I had to double back to find a, a lay-by to pull in to park my car to come to this bit. So we'll see what we can see of the remains of the bridge here. Now at this point here we've entered a deep cutting so this would have been quite a significant engineering challenge for the builders of the Linton and Barnstable Railway. We're quite sunken below the Bratton Fleming Road now. It is getting quite wet underfoot despite having four or five days of very sunny warm weather. Um, so I'm not sure how much further I can go here. So there's our bridge that carries the Bratton Fleming Road over the Linton Barnstable Railway. I can't go any further because it is very, very boggy underfoot and it would have been a lot worse if I'd come here a week earlier. So it was good that I'd done it after a few dry days to be able to get access, but all the way up to this bridge. And I think from Cheltham too, this section of the line has been completely cleared and you can see it won't too, take too much effort apart from putting a small bridge in where they have that entrance to the former quarry in to open this section of the line once more. Now, although there is a barbed wire fence here, it's quite an old barbed wire fence. I'm not sure if this denotes a change of land ownership in this section towards Cheltham, towards in the Barnstable direction. But here, just behind me, you can see that the volunteers, Linton and Barnstable Railway, they put some rags over the top of the barbed wire section to enable them to access it. So I'm not going to go down there because it's a bit dubious about trespass, but obviously they've been given permission to carry on clearing the line. It looks like it's been cleared for quite some considerable distance towards Barnstable. So I've decided to come to Killington Lane rather than Woody Bay because I am going to return to the Linton and Barnstable Railway to show the trains in steam on this wonderful narrow gauge line in Exmoor or on Exmoor should I say. Got beautiful views, I'll show you some more of that in a moment. So I'm at Killington Lane, so the trains aren't running today but I've just come into the station. You ride, there's a little gate here which you can just come into but you're not allowed to walk along the track in the direction of Woody Bay but I will show you that in a future video. You have this plaque here in the station here at Killington Lane and it says the Linton and Barnstable 
proposed reinstatement. And this gives you quite a detailed but not finalised view of what's going to be happening next from here. So they're extending outwards towards the town of Barnstable. And as you would have seen, you've seen that clearance section they'd done earlier in the video. And they've also restored Cheltham Station too. So we are here at Killington Lane. You can just see that there. That's where we are at the moment. And Woody Bay is there, just a bit further along. So that's where the trains go backwards and forwards. Just a long, fairly short section of track. Well, I think it's about, about a mile or so, a mile and a half, no more than that. But the plan next is to extend it to Parakam Holt. Now Parakam is a village, a beautiful Exmoor village, just in the bottom there. You've got that wonderful Hedden Valley, which is uh, looked after by the National Trust. And you can if you catch a train to here, you can walk down to Parakam, but it's quite a steep bit. So the line curves right round following the contour. So that's the next section. And then there are plans to go around, follow, again, following the contours, of course, to keep the track as level as possible hopefully to open a station at Blackmore Gate, which is a kind of a, a junction of roads, if you like. It's a high point where the roads go down to Coombe Martin and back down to Simon's Bath or Simmons Bath, however you want to pronounce it, and in the direction of Taunton. So they're hoping to open a station there and they hope to have a terminus for this section. As I say, they want to continue right through to Barnstable or on the outskirts of Barnstable because a lot of the original line has been built over in Barnstable, to here at Whistland Pound Holt, which is on the edge of Whistland Pound Reservoir. So exciting days indeed here on the Linton and Barnstable Railway. Now you might think that going to that reservoir is the only plan that the Linton and Barnesville Railway has, but that's not the case. They're planning to extend in the direction of Linton too. So going back from Woody Bay again in this direction, they want to open a station at Caffins, Caffins Halt. And beyond that, they want to open a station in Linton too. It won't be at the original site, I believe. The station is still there. I might have a look for that when I do my Linton video and see if I can capture that. If I find that and do the edit, I'll, I'll insert a photo of uh, where, what the original station looks like that, but that's private property, so they can't use that. And it'll be a little bit further on, high up on the contour above the town of Linton. Just before I go, on the edge of the little hut here at Killington Lane, it's got a little plaque which tells you about why the track stops here. And they explain that unlike a lot of the other heritage lines which quickly moved in, like the West Somerset Railway, not that far from where we are currently, they moved in quickly to take possession of the track back from BR when it's the announced closure in the 60s. This closed in the 1930s, middle of the 1930s, and because of that, a lot of the line has been built over, bridges demolished, and all the, the rolling stock destroyed. Really, really sad, of course, but they have some wonderful locomotives, as we'll see when I return here to do a video when it's in steam. But yeah, wonderful spot here at Killington Lane. And like it says, perchance it is not dead, but sleepeth. I'll leave you that quote. So from Killington Lane on the Linton and Barnstable Railway, that's it for today. Here on the Railway Series 1 on West Country Wanderings, we will be back here to show you some steam trains. If you can't wait to look at that, then pop on over to Louise's channel on South West Sundays, because not long ago she took a steam train ride here to Killington Lane and back from Woody Bay. Have a look at that. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one, little thumbnail. So what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to head into the town of Linton, which has its own railway, Cliff Railway, and I'll probably do a little photo tour around that 
most wonderful of North Devon towns. Hope you can join me again here on West Country Wanderings. Take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers now. Bye-bye.